Life is short. It's a phrase thrown around all the time. You've probably heard it at some point. With each day that passes, time seems to go by faster. When things slow down or we find ourselves in a rut, it can feel like we're wasting our lives. So with that being said, here are five ways you can stop wasting your life right now. Help someone. Sometimes we struggle to see the value our life brings to the world. No matter how much you believe you're wasting your life, we want you to know your life has intrinsic value and that you have left a positive impact on somebody just by existing. If you have memories of someone doing something nice for you just for the sake of it, you know how good it feels to be helped in some way. Even if it was just a compliment or someone sharing their lunch with you, it probably stuck with you. You might say that that person has had a positive impact, even if it was small. You can have a positive impact as well by helping people. Look out for people in need and help them without expecting anything in return. If you feel like you're not accomplishing your life goals or you're existing in a state of purgatory, getting nothing done, try to spend your time on selfless acts. A 2009 study on the benefits of giving sums it up nicely. Happier people give more, and giving makes people happier, such that happiness and giving may operate in a positive feedback loop. Work towards a goal. We're willing to bet that at some point in your life, there was something you wanted to be or do so badly that it consumed all of your thoughts. Maybe you achieved that thing. Maybe that dream just went poof. You got distracted by something else or disillusioned as you came to the realization that this thing isn't what you thought it would be. For example, how many kids want to be a firefighter? They grow up and realize that this job is hard and risky. Suddenly, they're amongst the rest of us who know the truth. Chasing a dream is difficult. But just because you might not become an astronaut or an actor doesn't mean you're wasting your life. You can start with small goals. Maybe you've always dreamed of having a swimming pool or a really nice computer or a specific pet. Let these dreams guide you. Chase these dreams with everything you have. What you'll find is an increase in self-belief. You might become more stressed depending on the goal, but striving to achieve something teaches you that you're capable of achieving your goals. As Dr. Laura King describes, writing about your goals is also extremely important. It offers you a way to reevaluate and gain perspective on your life. Be social. Sometimes we find purpose in our friends. Sometimes how busy we are isn't up to us as we focus on working or studying. Perhaps you're still in the process of finding a job and you feel like you're wasting time just searching for jobs but getting nowhere. Use this time to see the people you love. Go out with your friends and family. It doesn't have to be expensive, even if you just visit them to talk. In their research, Chayun Lim and Robert Putnam explain that there is an increase in life satisfaction amongst religious individuals. This is attributed to the fact that they have a space to be social, as well as build social networks, and not based on the religion itself. If you aren't religious, there are many other ways to build social networks and find communities. If you don't know where to start, why not join the Psych2Go community by subscribing? Experience as much as possible. <laughs> it sounds like a huge task to undergo. Remember, the keyword here is possible. If you can't afford to travel, for example, whether you don't have enough money or enough time, don't worry. Focus on what you can experience. See local bands play live. Spend a day in nature. Week by week, try a different coffee place and find your favorite one. There are an infinite amount of experiences to be had in a single human lifetime. Even laying on the floor staring at your ceiling fan with someone you love is an experience. Not every experience will be a positive one, but every experience can leave an impact. Researchers from the Journal of Positive Psychology suggest that people do not seek out experiences as much as they do material goods because of the value we place on them. We value material goods more because their value is easy to understand, but the value of experiences is abstract. These experiences will last forever as memories. A life full of good memories couldn't have been a waste. You can't put a price on that. And this leads to the last point. Forget about wasting your life. Unless you committed some heinous crime, no life is wasted. Your life is valuable. We go through times of stress, times of boredom, and times of loneliness. It happens to everyone. The quote by Martha Troy Curtin rings true. Time you enjoy wasting is not wasted time. 
An easy life is not necessarily a good life, but neither is a hard life. If you truly feel your precious time on earth is being wasted, try some of the other tips. That feeling of emptiness can be reduced by staying busy and achieving small victories day by day. The key is to seek these victories and experiences. They won't always just come to you. If this video helped you feel inspired to change a few things in your life, why not leave a like? Ring the notification bell to get notified whenever we post more content like this. And remember to join the Psych2Go community by subscribing. Thanks for watching.